Oh no, but the next episode of Rico Harbor is the worst. This is this next level is one that should not be bad, but it is just because of poor gameplay mechanics. Not because it's actually hard. It's Red Coins on the Water, Episode 6. Also known as the episode that would be easy if there was an easy way of getting off your blooper without dying. And there's not. <laughs> Hey, you two are getting all Good. Yep, time for the blooper surf and safari again. That's me, blooper surf and big daddy! Bloopy for short! Oh yeah, you think you could step on that switch over there? You think I could? Get the eight red coins before the timer runs out. So this is like a nice, fun little obstacle course of grabbing all the red coins on the blooper. It's actually kind of fun. The problem is, once the Shine Sprite appears, you have to grab it on the blooper without dying, which is way harder than you might think. Because again, if you touch literally anything while you're riding the blooper, you die. Like that. And because of the time limit, you can't just... I mean, maybe you can get it just by swimming around, but... Of course the Turbo Nozzle doesn't appear on that version of the level. Okie dokie dokie. Like, if there was just a button to say, hey, I want to dismount the blooper, that would make this a lot better. Well, missed the first red coin, that's great. Let's head back, grab that. It is really hard to control the bloopers on this, by the way. Just keep going this way. You're gonna be going this way a lot. I think you also have to jump over the submarine on this level. Yes, you do. Oh, I guess zero doesn't count as a life in this game. Which I guess makes sense. No, we're continuing. Yeah, I remember being stuck on red coins on the water for a long time. The problem, the problem is, in order to beat the game, you need to get a bunch of the shine. You need to clear the first seven episodes on every single level, and there's always, pretty much always, a really annoying mission before then. Let's use a yellow blooper. Yellow blooper's slower, which might make it easier to control. Or maybe not. How is it? It's somehow slower and has worse turning. 
Wow, we jumped over it. Just fantastic. How did how do we dodge that again? There we go. I keep being like, oh look, it's a red coin. No, it's a flag on one of the buoys. Darn it. Someone po parked their yachts on the water. Who does that? I also can't remember where that, line, that eighth red coin is. And again, collecting the red coins is the easy part. The hard part is collecting the shine that appears after you get the red coins. I would not want to ride on a squid. No, I would not. If you want to ride that, you can just go surfing. Everybody's learning how. Let's try the purple blooper. We haven't been on him yet. Ugh. Yeah, I actually like the green blooper best. Wow! The purple one is slow and has horrendous turning. It's like the worst of all worlds. And it appears to be constantly moving to the left. Oh yeah, the purple blooper is awful. Absolutely awful. Ugh! Oh, that's where the last red coin is. True, I would too. Actually, wait, no, that wasn't the last red coin. There's a red coin between the two yachts? That is dumb. Alright, yeah, we're going... It's, it's nerf or nothing. We're going green or we're going home. Green is fast and has the best turning out of all of them. Is there a one-up just around the, in the area? What's with these massive crates? Because I don't want to keep game over in on this. Yeah, look at that. They're, they're just tantalizing me with that. They're like, man, it would be so great if you had this. Too bad you don't. coin there. Glad I checked. I was looking for a one-up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought there was a one-up in this area. Oh, wait, no. The one-up's over here. Kind of far out of the way to grab, especially without the turbo nozzle. But we'll make it work. Wait, 
Right, there we go. And the last one is right there. Here we go. So now it makes the Shine Sprite appear back on that platform. That platform is exceedingly easy to die on, because again, we can't just get off our blooper. Press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, start. It doesn't work. All right, cool. It is extremely easy to bonk on that. We are at 50 shines. Still less than halfway there. Here we go. Alright, Shadow Mario Revisited, Episode 7. Actually, technically, if you take into account all of the shines we have via blue coins, we're about halfway there. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He's up here on the girders. Shadow Mario's ultimate move is just standing there, not moving. Because that way he apparently, like, just can't really take damage from you because you have to be a very specific set distance away from him. And he'll also, you'll also just run into him that way. There we go. Phooey, I'll remember this! Let's see if it works. Kind of. There, now we're effectively halfway there. Combined with all the blue coins that we have. Let's go back to the hotel. Sirena Beach, King Boo down below. We going back to the casino again. It's like, hey, do you love going to the hotel? It's like, not really. Well, you're going to the hotel in basically every mission. Because there's basically nothing else to the course. <laughs> oh, Mario, Mario! The casino's this way! Well, actually, I didn't want to gamble. I must admit that, unfortunately, the casino's closed today. You see, there are creepy sounds coming from the basement. Could we trick you, I mean, ask you for your help? Oh, thank you! I don't like going to this hotel. Again, like, all of the missions in this world suck. <laughs> oh, Mario, right this way, please. Alright. <laughs> Off to the boss. 
Keen Boo looks really weird in this game. Hi, Keen Boo. You look very different from every other game you appear in. Come on, fruits. Alright, that's one of them. Not a great start. Oh, yuck. Wait, we can't get rid of the cataquacks here. They're just here forever. The cataquacks are just here forever! Oh. Until he decides to get rid of them. How stupid. Come on, give me fruits already. This fight is very random, and I hate it for it. <laughs> Finally, we get fruits. It is a unique boss fight, but not in the good way. Ineffective. It is just laughing at you. Come on. Mario touched a chili pepper and is, like, bouncing like it's a bumper car. Um. Why is this not working? throw the chili pepper at him and he's supposed to eat it. There we go. And now we can throw the fruit at him. Fruit again, fruit again. Nope, of course not. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! What a jerk butt! How did I hit landed on his head and it damaged me even though he wasn't on fire? Thanks for the health refill, I suppose. It just takes forever. You can you can only damage him if he spins fruit, which is completely random. And by completely random, I mean like he never spins fruit. Not to mention, if you get hit by a Cataquack once, you're just going to get stun-locked by them. So Sirena Beach actually has, like, the two most- two of the most annoying bosses in the game. That's really impressive, Sabrina. Spin fruit. 
Nope, that's not fruit. Oh, great, more cataquacks. Yeah, that's not good design if you spend 20 to 30 minutes on this fight. <laughs> oh my gosh, finally. Alright, give me that chili pepper. I said, give me that chili pepper. Die. <sighs> Speedrunners must despise this fight. If you get unlucky, you just keep spinning non-fruit. You could literally just completely destroy your speedrun. And this fight takes place a pretty long ways into the run. That would be terrible. King Boo is right, because I boo that fight. Fortunately, the rest of Sirena is a lot better. Well, when I say a lot better, I mean it's actually kind of passable. Still not fun. Sirena Beach. Scrubbing Sirena Beach. Episode 6. Well, with the shotgun blast knowledge, this one should be a lot easier. Oh no, not the shock tart liquid again. Mario, we've got trouble! That electric goop is back! Where? Everywhere! Why are you timing me to do this? Surely all that would matter is that the beach gets cleaned, right? This is also... I don't know why I get a blue coin for that, but alright. I killed Boo Chungus. Sure! <laughs> yep, sure enough, Shotgun Blast is going to make this a lot easier. Ahem, <clears throat> um... Is there no water in the ocean for some reason? <laughs> also, apparently in the Japanese version of this level, uh, it's a lot harder because it's a lot pickier on what counts as if it's been cleaned or not. This level might as well just be called We Have to Do the Janitor's Job for Him in a strict time limit. So how did the goop come back? I definitely defeated the Phantom Manta. And not just in a way like, he won't be back here again. Like, no, like we, we killed him. That apparently counts as good enough. I thought I already got those blue coins. Do they give you a second blue coins on this level? You rescued me! Oh, there are four Nokis. Excuse me. I'll take a one up. That's fine. I'll again. I'll happily take that. There may be other blue coins on this level. Hey, get back here! Whoa! 
Wow, that was great! I never expected you to do it so easily. Fantastic, Mario. You were hiding one of those shine sprites! How dare you? Yahoo! Look at all them blue coins. Well, let's get Shadow Mario in here. Shadow Mario checks in. Hey, he better not be stealing my reservation in this terrible hotel. <laughs> Don't you love zooming in on the hotel in every single mission? I know I do. What are you two still mad about? What evacuation? What does that mean? Wait, is, what did you do, Stockfeed? Whatever. Oh, Mario, there's a troublemaker inside who looks like you. Hurry, get in there. I hate it when he just stops dead in his tracks, no warning. It's so obnoxious. Oh, that's right, in this fight, the boos will disguise themselves as Shadow Mario. Don't know why a blue coin appeared out of nowhere, but I'll take it. can't tell which floor is which. I sprayed- I sprayed a lamp and a blue coin came out of it. Really? Also, these- these shapes definitely did not appear in every other version of this uh, world. Get out of here, you stupid booze. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? He literally just phased through the wall. Wasn't oh dog are there are two juice stands. Is there a way we could jump out of a dive that doesn't involve us bumping our head on everything? Oh, free blue coin, sure. Apparently this is where all the blue coins are. Shadow Mario can wait. I'm much more interested in spraying these weird shapes. Pfft. How descriptive of where that leads. Mario, can you please jump out of a slide without just hitting your face? Oh my god, I hate the bounciness in this game so much.
Also, there's apparently just an unlimited amount of booze in this level. Are you kidding? <sighs> Mario, like, touches Shadow Mario and he's out for ten minutes. What the heck? that. Did you think this? You think this is annoying. How the heck are you supposed to get up there in time? Do I have to do like a crazy wall jump off the totem pole in the middle or something? Probably. Oh, that's exactly what you have to do. Well, there are some more mystery shapes around here. If only I knew which side of that floor below me. Okay, I hate you. It's always on the opposite side of... I swear whenever you spray a shape and it has to play the cutscene of where it, uh, the thing jumps out of, I swear the game always orients the camera in such a way that it's as hard for you to get there as possible. There we go. How many blue coins do we have on Sirena now? Sixteen. So we're actually missing almost half of them. It's a little crazy to me. Ah, well. <laughs>